Hi, this is Dr. Leong. I'm an interventional radiologist working in Singapore General Hospital. In this video, I will be talking to you about benign thyroid nodules and a treatment called radiofrequency ablation. Thyroid nodules are abnormal growth of tissue within the thyroid gland. The majority of these are non-cancerous and a small proportion will be cancerous. Some of these benign nodules can grow to a large size and result in symptoms such as sensation of a mass, difficulty swallowing, breathing, hoarseness in voice, pain, or unpleasant asymmetrical appearance of the neck. RFA is the minimally invasive needle procedure used in the treatment of these large benign thyroid nodules. It is done under local anesthesia with some sedation and can be performed as a day case. During the procedure, painkillers are injected under the skin and a small one to two millimeter cut is made to allow insertion of a needle. The needle is no bigger than a skewer or a satay stick is positioned into the nodule under ultrasound guidance. Once in position, the needle is turned on to emit heat energy to treat or ablate the nodule. The interventional radiologist will expertly guide the needle to cover the entire nodule. The doctor may also ask you to say some sentences during the procedure to ensure that the nearby nerves to the voice box are not affected during the ablation. There are some mild to moderate risks involved in this procedure, such as bleeding, damage to the nearby nerves, which can result in hoarseness in voice and infection. Most of these are reversible. The procedure takes about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the size of the lesion. During this time, the patient experiences little to no pain due to the painkillers and sedation that is administered. The patient is observed for one to two hours after the procedure and allowed to have a light drink. If there are no issues thereafter, the patient can be allowed home. Minor pain and swelling is expected for a few days and patients are encouraged to take some paracetamol or anti-inflammatories as required. They are also advised to avoid any strenuous activities for the next three to five days. The tumor shrinks over the next few months and the procedurist will see the patient back at the clinic at about two weeks for an early review and subsequently at six months. For more information, please search RFA Thyroid on www.sgh.com.sg or feel free to approach an interventional radiologist. We look forward to seeing you at the Department of Vascular and Interventional Radiology. Goodbye. Bye.